When most people think about working in a biotech company, the first thought is, oh, I'm going to be working in a lab producing some groundbreaking technology. But I'm here to share with you that not all jobs in biotech require you to be in the lab. And actually, there's some pretty cool jobs you probably haven't heard of. And we're going to talk about them in this video. The first role I want to talk about is that of a business development manager. Business development managers are an integral part of the sales team at biotech companies and their role really is to go out there and build relationships externally with potential customers key opinion leaders to have their ears to the ground to hear what these people need and what they what kind of solutions they may need from a biotech company or within a technology or within a particular field and because their ears are to the ground and they're building these relationships with these customers they're able to bring back that feedback to the company and then the company is able to innovate or provide solutions. I also mentioned that they are a really integral part of the sales team and may be involved in the marketing of products. So business development managers may also be looking at how users are using competitive products, right? And also bring that feedback. So they're really an integral part of the overall sales team and will help companies move forward with their insights. The second role I want to talk about is product management within the biotech industry. So product managers, like the name suggests, usually own a product within the company, right? So several biotech companies out there may have several lines of products and product managers are responsible for a specific product. And so it's really important for product managers to know everything there is to know about that product, right? All the updates, the new innovations, the new technologies that are coming out. They need to know everything about that. And so let's say you are a product manager for a PCR product within your company. You should know everything about PCR. You will know the innovations that are coming out about PCR. You will know how, you know, maybe people are using based on, you know, what the business development managers are doing. You may be getting feedback from them on how products are being used out there in the real world. You may be coordinating um, marketing assets that will allow the, the business development managers to market this more. And then, you know, we also have, you know, technical sales and field application scientists, which I didn't talk about in this video, but the product manager is going to work with all these people to make sure that the right messaging um, and, and the right information is in the hands of these customers so that they can use the the product to solve the problem that they need to solve. And so maybe you're thinking, wow, that sounds kind of like what the business development managers do. But unlike the business development managers who tend to work externally, product managers work internally to build what I've just spoken about. Number three is a technical applications scientist. Now, technical applications scientists also have very deep knowledge of a product or a software or whatever it is that the biotech company is selling. And their role really is to provide assistance and troubleshooting primarily to people that are users of their products. And so let's say you have you have an instrument, you have a software, and this actually used to happen to me a lot when I was in graduate school and when I was a postdoc, something is not working, right? And so you look at the number that is on the machine because a lot of the time the, the machine or the software has a contact us information that that could be a number it could be an email and you would either email or call and call was always easier because then you could talk to them and they could walk you through it i remember specifically there was this plate reader in my lab oh my word i definitely call those people but <laughs> but anyway you'll be on the phone with them and they're going to help you troubleshoot whatever is going on with their product and usually that should solve it if they are unable to solve it over the phone or via email for you usually they then will send out what's called a field application scientist who will come into the laboratory to troubleshoot or and help solve that problem content management is the next role i want to talk about and this is going to be different depending on the company, especially because I work in content 
content and with everything that I'm, i've described so far right these are just general overviews your specific role could be slightly different and again it could vary from company to company but generally with content managers they are going to be you know they're managers so they're going to be managing a whole bunch of content that the company is producing maybe in a division or for the whole company if the company is not so big right i currently work for a huge company and you cannot be the content manager for the whole company all right but usually for the person that i know that is in a content management role what they are doing is um ensuring that all the content that is being produced for a particular product or a particular software or anything that is within that division adheres to the messaging adheres to medical affairs or regulatory protocols I, you know they make sure that everything is on point before it actually goes out there right and so they also tend to interface with legal they they interface with the medical affairs team they may interface with various market marketing teams, various product teams to know when a product is launching, to know what material needs to be produced before that launch, uh, to know, you know, do we need to create webinars? Do we need to create white papers? Do we need to create a, a podcast? Um, so they are, they have a big job. <laughs> That's all I can say is that content managers have a big job. And if you want to work in such a role, I would say to start with a role like becoming a medical writer, which is what I do currently, is to be a medical writer. And from there, you can build up to becoming a content manager, right? So if you want to get into that role, it's not content management is not an entry level role, but it's a very important role within biotech because we need to market the things that we sell and we need to create assets. And you know, it's, if somebody's not always going to be standing in front of you telling you, oh, this is, you know, marketing, do a marketing presentation. So potential users or current users should be able to search on the internet and find a video, find a white paper, find some asset that gives them the information that they are looking for. And content managers put all of that together. Number five is a marketing specialist role. So marketing, again, um, it's very tied to what I just talked about with content, but with marketing, right, you have to have some knowledge of website marketing, social media marketing, paid advertising, all those kind of channels of marketing, right? It's important. Now with this marketing specialist um, roles, you don't always have to have a science backed role. However, it's going to be helpful right and so you could be a marketing major and you get this role but you could also be that bio major or that chemistry major or that person with the science background that has some marketing knowledge and you could get into this role right and so they're going to have knowledge of this they're going to help with identifying things like conferences and media opportunities um, that allow the company to put themselves out there and market themselves they may be involved in the creation of what's known as lead magnet and so a lead magnet is a piece of content usually it's a piece of content that you create and you put out there and you use it as a way for people to sign up for an email list or to get them to call a number so that they become a lead right that they're lead who needs something and then we can market to them the products and the solutions that that particular biotech company has. So those are five roles in biotech that you could begin to look for. If you're looking for more ideas, check out this video right here where I talked about five high paying biology jobs.